hello guys welcome to solving solutions on brand channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to change the um, transform the elevation values of your digital elevation model using a um, QGIS right good now we have done similar stuff using um, ArcGIS Pro however on today's tutorial we are going to see how to use um, QGIS to carry out that particular tax so we are trying to change the symbology of our digital elevation model in um, QGIS and then let's just stay with this for now so we need to come back to the raster calculator so we click on raster then we select them um, raster calculator so you remember that um, when you want to convert from meters to feet you need to multiply your value in meter by 3.28084 right good so this constant still stands right good that means um, the constant remains constant so these are raster calculator environments on um, QGIS so for us to build the expression we have the expression box here and then we have the different bands that we have which is our layer right good let's say the data we want to um, change the elevation value so we double click to insert it inside the box and then the operators are here we have some numeric logarithmic and so many other operators here right good so we are trying to multiply and then what we are multiplying with is what we have just copied so you paste it there right good so you have the constant now one thing to note is that i've come to realize if you just create an on the fly um, raster instead of writing on the layer ticks you might encounter an error so it's always better you what you create what or you write it on a dix right good it's very very important you can just try that out so let's browse so we're on our folder transform elevation values so let's call this um solving solutions that's ss and then we click on save and then the output format let's leave it as um GTIF. for the special extent by default it has been what assigned and then for the resolution if you want to maybe alter it remember it can either affect your output positively or negatively so it's always best you leave it the way it is and then for the output crs the crs of our data is projected and then i can see um, a projected output crs which is also very important right good so i haven't fixed all of these we can just click on ok to run good so our output is here and then we have our range of values which were 174 to 1213 now to be 587 to 3694 right good so this shows us now that the elevation values that we had earlier that were in meters have been converted to what they are equivalent to what in feet right good so we can still um change the symbology of this but let's just keep it the way it is for now and then if we use the identify tool which is um, this right good to identify the features on this particular digital elevation model let's say if we click on this point we have what a value of um, 2440 right good so i think we clicked on somewhere around there okay still similar so if we take this out which is what the converted ensure you select what the layer you want to identify right good so this time around we are trying to use what the projected so if you now click on this same point you now see the value has reduced right good so this reduced value is actually in meter it's actually in meters right good and then if you still select this one you open it up and then you click be somewhere similar you are going to see its equivalent in feet right good so these are or let's say this is the process with which you can transform or yeah convert the elevation values of your digital elevation model using what um, qgs right good so as we told you earlier if you want to achieve consistency in your project or maybe that's the unit um the desired result should be 
and then you got it on a different unit you can try to use the same conversion process to um, this transformation process or conversion process towards to change it from one um, unit to the other right good so we are going to see you on the next tutorial and sure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye